Gigi and today's video is about eyebrows honey and sadly if you don't have good ones you just have horrible ones so everyone needs to be on their own routine with their eyebrows because I know for myself personally I've maybe had 30 different eyebrow routines and now I'm finally down to a few products that I actually really really love and I've been loving obviously lately and I'm um, doing my eyebrows with so I want to share them with you guys and honestly I get so many questions now that this whole like there's like a quote going around I don't know if you guys have heard of it probably it's called like fleek okay really not right now everyone says like your eyebrows are on fleek and I feel like eyebrows are making a comeback or like have already made a comeback like kind of like how the butt did but now it's like the eyebrows are on fleek rather than, oh sorry my, for my band-aid, I burnt myself curling my hair the other day. Hi, first time curling my hair using a heat tool, how are you? My name is Gigi. So amateur, I can't even deal. So yeah, there are tons of different eyebrow products out there and what I'm about to show you is just what works for me. I filmed this earlier this morning when I was getting ready, so it's literally what I do every single day that you've seen me, probably for the past six months, that's what I've done to my eyebrows. Without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial, honey. So, the first step to having flawless eyebrows is shaping the hair that you already have. You can do this by waxing, which is what I used to do all the time, or threading, which is what I currently do. As you can see, my hair on the left side, on your left side, is super light, but don't let that stop you if you have the same problem. All right, so the first and main product we're gonna be using today is the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills in Blonde. And we're gonna apply this with our MAC 266 brush. Super old, I've had this one for like years. This is a very creamy textured product that sets extremely well and it could literally, I'm not kidding you, last for an entire week without washing it off if you wanted it to, it's crazy. And even though this is the lightest shade, it's still a little bit dark for my eyebrows and complexion, but work with what you got. What I like to do first is make a straight line where you want the tail of your eyebrow to be with a tiny bit of product. Then slowly keep adding more, barely tapping the surface of the product because it is a very dark and very thick product. Work inwards towards the middle of your face. So as I said, the color is a little bit dark for me even though it is in the blonde shade, which is the lightest. So I'm gonna take a spoolie and comb through the brows or just any other kind of brow brush you wanna use to take some of the product out. I find that brushing the hair up with the product and then gently to the side to lay the hairs back down gives it a much nicer, softer look when it's finally completed. Now, using one of the oldest MAC brushes that I own to this day, I think it's the 212, I'm not sure, I can't read it, can you? <laughs> I'm gonna be carving out my brow with concealer to define it and just make it look more perfect and less bushy. This step is absolutely necessary for me when I'm using the Anastasia pomade. Otherwise, my brow will look way too thick and blocky, which is not what I'm going for. I wanna go for a semi-natural look, kinda like a full, I don't know, Cara Delevingne, but like her blonde Barbie sister. Some days I like to conceal the top of my eyebrow as well, depending on the color of outfit I'm wearing or, you know, the weather. Today I'm wearing blue, so I'm gonna be doing this step. And the very last thing I like to do is comb through the brow a few more times with the spoolie and make sure it's as similar in color as you can get it to the other brow. No two brows are obviously alike. Everyone says the exact same thing. The brows are sisters, not twins, or friends, not twi I don't even know. But there are no more products in this look. That is all I do for my eyebrows. I definitely have simpled it up. No sealing gels or anything like that. I really do love what I do, and I love how they ended up looking, and I hope you guys got some inspiration from this video. Now, let your hair down, and let's begin our days together. <laughs> okay, that was beyond lame. <laughs> So that was all for the makeup today, just the eyebrows. Very, very simple and very quick. Like I said, my eyebrows are like so light that it's pretty much, if I use too much, I start to look like I'm wearing eyebrow makeup, which is not really cute. It's not really the look you wanna go for when you're doing your eyebrows. Well, for me personally, I know a lot of people like that bold, heavy look, but I'm trying to stay away from it. Oh my God, and P.S. randomly before I go, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm wearing on my lips because I have been obsessed with it. It's the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm, and I got it this time. Last time I got it in baby pink, and this time I got it in coral, which is the 004. Literally, it's like a neon orange color, but on the lips, it's just, mm. I feel like it's a better pink than the actual pink, so. If you like this, try Coral because it's everything and you will not be, and honestly I feel like that for the winter time, everything is so cold and I'm like paler than I usually am, so putting the orange kind of like warms up my face, kind of like bronzer for the lips. Are we on the same page? Good. 
Um, so that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys have any other requests, leave it down in the comments, and until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.